Hi beauties! Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I know I'm looking a little rough today and the lighting's look a little rough today, but we are not doing your typical video today. We are doing a long-awaited makeup room tour! And you guys, I am so freaking excited! I, mm, I can't even explain it. I don't want to ramble on too long, but you guys, it has taken me so so long to get my makeup room exactly how I wanted it exactly like oh this is just like everything that I've ever wanted and it's just complete dream to me I still can't even believe that this is my room and that I get to do my makeup here every day also I just wanted to say I am not trying to brag in any way shape or form I have been growing my makeup collection for years now like since I was 14 or 15 years old I've been collecting makeup some of this stuff I can't even use anymore because it's just old old like since I was 15 um, But I collect makeup. I love it and you guys it's just my thing I'm absolutely obsessed with watching makeup collections and makeup room tours on YouTube I have been watching them for years So I hope that you guys really enjoy this as much as I do It's honestly just satisfying just to look at people's makeup collections if you guys like this video and you guys like me, please make sure you like it and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and I really do appreciate it. And without further ado, here's my makeup room, you guys. I'm so excited. So here's the start of my room. My room isn't huge or anything, but I am very, very proud of it. We live in a really tiny old trailer. So the space that I have and what I have to work with, I'm very excited with just how I transformed it. So right here, I have a cute little earring holder and all my dangly earrings. I honestly don't wear them enough. I used to collect them and wear them a lot in high school, but I just don't wear them, <laughs> wear them a lot anymore. I wear my hoops more than anything. Down here I have some of my dangly necklaces and you guys I, I have a lot of jewelry like honestly I got rid of a lot of it but I still have a lot of jewelry and I don't wear jewelry a lot anymore like I wear my ring every day and I wear earrings sometimes but I really don't wear that much jewelry and I have tons of it but yeah I keep it just because I used to wear them a lot in high school and I still think they're super cute and maybe one day I'll wear them. <laughs> This spot right here honestly has to be like one of my favorite spots in my makeup room. It's just like this little nook that's built in and it has these built in drawers right here. Um, right here this is the tabletop and I just got these like little sheets from the Dollar Tree. This is my first attempt. This one's from Dollar Tree and it just didn't stick well and I hated the way that it looked. So I really like marble and I just got this from Dollar Tree. I want to get the one that st actually sticks to the countertop, but I just haven't got a chance to get that yet. And then on this little countertop, I have my little mini fridge. My dad got me this for Christmas one year and I keep some skincare goodies in here. So I keep some like face oils in here, some under eye mask, some face mask, um, and then obviously like the little face tools. I like to keep those in there to keep them cold so they feel good on your face when you use them. And then on here I keep some of my cute stickers. So I have like my hit dot stickers on here. These stickers are so freaking cute. And up here I have this little um, ring holder that I keep all my like, I don't know where I got these from, but I've had them ever since I was little. Like no joke. Since I was little. Like these ones are from my grandma. Like I just don't know where they came from, but I call them good luck charms and I keep them up here. And when brands send me cute little knickknacks and stuff, I just put them up here. Next we have these drawers and I got these at the Dollar Tree and what I did is I've got three of them and I hot glued them together and then I took some marble um, vinyl stuff and I put it in the bottom of this. Um, yeah, I didn't have enough for this. That's why I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but in here I have um, some mini Pixie Beauty skincare and stuff like that. Um, and here I have more skincare stuff from Drunk Elephant, Milk, and Pixie. Um, and then down here I have more, I just have miscellaneous, like, travel size skincare in there. Just, ugh. The only thing that sucks about these drawers is, yeah, they're from the Dollar Tree, but they're, like, really annoying to put back in there you guys oh my gosh I'm not lying <laughs> and here I have some mini drunk elephant skincare um and then in here I have some like lip balms I really don't use lip balms enough but girl I need to I got some chap lips um and then down here I have some lip scrubs I really don't have a lot of lip scrubs either but this one from leak lips is really really good 
here I keep some bobby pins and some hair tools. Um, I go, I use this drawer a lot. Let me tell you, my hair is wild, y'all. Um, and then in here I have some like big stud earrings. In here I have some lash tools and some spoolies. Look how cute this little applicator is. Oh my gosh. And here I have my bullet lipsticks from Leek Lives. I have my tube glosses in here. Look how cute these are, honestly. I love these. And then down here I just have some more lip care products. Up here I have lip liners. I don't really use lip liners a lot, but the few that I have, I have up here in this cute little tart cup that I got as like a gift at I think Ulta one time when I bought a palette. Then up here, this is literally all the bullet lipsticks that I have. I honestly don't like to keep bullet lipsticks. I like li liquid lipsticks more than bullets, but these are all the bullet lipsticks that I have. So like I have a few MAC. And then I have like a little cute bird here. Um, this is from Maluna. My little paint pots from Beetlejuice collection came in this little coffin package and I couldn't throw it away. It was too cute. And then I have my Makeup of Murder burner phone palette package right up here. And then this little collage is just a bunch of love notes from brands and thank you letters and like a whole bunch of like little cards that come with PR packages and like when you buy stuff. Like, look at this one. This one's from La Luna. Absolutely love La Luna so freaking much. Oh my gosh. And then right here, I have my little rhino. I got him when I was in high school. I absolutely loved this rhino so much. Let me tell you guys, like, it's crazy. So, I loved this rhino so much. It, I, he was at Target, and he was, like, $40. Like, it was ridiculous the amount of money that this rhino was. And one day, I went back to Target, and he was $15. So, you know what? Mr. Rhino came home with me, and he's been with me ever since. He's broken an ear since then, but we fixed him up and he lives here now and he will forever stay in my home and then right here i have some ulta lanyards i used to work at ulta but um not for long honestly and then i have my little zorora bag back here so cute and right here in these built-in drawers like look how dirty these are from me like going in there with my dirty makeup hands oh my gosh you guys but up here is my skincare drawer um i don't have a tons of skincare because i just recently like really got into skincare and taking care of my skin you guys my skin used to be so so bad in high school and I'm so glad like I'm learning how to take care of it now because whoo my lord like I was struggling there for a minute I am still not an expert on skincare by any means let me tell you but I try to do what works for me so I have some mask in here and I have some moisturizers from bliss I really did like this but I honestly think it was just breaking me out more it's scented and uh, it, I just don't think Bliss does anything for me. I really like these, but I love the hyaluronic acid ones from Higher Education better. And then I have my Hey Bud. Um, I got my Higher Education Moisturizer. I absolutely love Higher Education Skincare. If you guys go on their website, you can take... Um, you can take a quiz and it basically will tell you what products work best for you. And you guys, when I used this line, my skin was better than anything ever, honestly. Right here I have some sample sizes of the Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. In here I have my Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizers. We love them. They smell so good. And I've had some of these for a very long time. Like this is such old packaging. <laughs> And here I have some of my higher, like, price skincare, I guess. So I have some Drunk Elephant. They actually sent this to me in PR, and I could not believe it. I absolutely love Drunk Elephant products, and they really work well with my skin. I have Pixie in here. Um, I absolutely love Pixie, but honestly, this product doesn't really do much for me. Um, and then... I have two Tatcha skincare products, and these are both empty, but I keep them because they were amazing, and I need to get more of them, obviously. And then back here, I keep all of my sheet mask and lip mask and stuff like that. I'm not really going to go into this drawer. This is all makeup that, like, I'm selling. So, like, I like to resell my makeup or makeup that I'm not using or makeup that I didn't use on an app called Mercari just to make some extra money. And that's basically what all this is. So, that <laughs> that needs a whole drawer for itself, honestly. And then the last drawer is actually just extra, like, acrylic storage bins and stuff like that. 
right next to the little nook and drawers we have my closet and I'm honestly not gonna go into my closet because it's ugly and it's a hot mess but there's my shoes there's my clothes you get the picture that's my closet and right here this little thing my boyfriend built it's supposed to look like a little milk crate um and up here i have my little jacqueline hill vault um i honestly don't use these anymore they're really old but i like to keep them displayed just because i remember i worked really hard to buy this vault and i loved it at that point on top of it, I keep my little corsage from Senior Prom. Yes, obviously I got some paint on it when I was painting the room, guys. I'm sorry, I ruined the roses, okay? Next, I have this little prop. This is um, from when I did the little nutcracker look for during Christmas time. I honestly love the way that this turned out. Like, it's a little crooked, but this is so cute to me, so I have to keep it on display. And then down here, I have a Sephora bag and a Pixie bag. I just think they're really cute, so I like to have them displayed. Um, and then I have this cute little necklace holder. And I've had it for forever, so I really don't know where it's from. But I have all my statement necklaces right there. I don't wear them at all anymore. But you guys, I used to rock these in high school. Like, I was the queen of statement necklaces. I wore a different one every single day. Right next to it here, I have a little Marc Jacobs box and a little um, notebook that I write, that I used to write like all of my looks and what I used down in. I was honestly crazy, honestly, because that was just so much work. I could have done it like way differently, like how I do it now. But yeah, I like to keep it just because I did write out all my looks and it was hard work too. And then right next to it, I have this cute little holder, and I do know where I got this one. I bought this one from TJ Maxx. I bought this one because my aunt had one just like it, and it was so cute. Like, I had to have it to hold my bracelets on. And does anybody else used to collect these, the Alex and Ani bracelets? I absolutely used to love these so much in high school. I wore them everywhere. And then this just... The holder, the jewelry holder just sits on top of this little Anastasia holder. Um, and I have my soft glam and my modern renaissance just sitting in there. These are both expired, but I just like to keep them in there for keepsake. This right here is honestly my second favorite part of my room. Um, so you guys, blinds are honestly just ugly, like ugly as crap. And I wanted to do this little like fake succulent garden right here with the rocks in my windowsill because my windowsill is big enough to do that so I decided just to put a cute little collage over my window and have this cute little succulent garden right here and honestly I am in love with the way that it turned out tucked back here I have a lamp that I use for when I'm filming my YouTube videos for extra lighting um, and then I have my little Ursula tentacles and I have a few purses hanging right here these are this green bag and this one were my grandmother's so I like to have them displayed and then I have two of my Kate Spades back there up here I got this little corner shelf from I think five below or Ikea and up there I keep my Zora box my little cute essence um, panda bear like I love that thing so much it's so cute and I collect the Morphe setting sprays I love the Morphe setting spray so much so I started to collect the bottles so those are my empty ones and that's me looking like a hot mess. <laughs> and on this mirror, I have more of my brand stickers like Kid Skin, La Luna, More Hip Dot, and all, so many more. So here is the brand new addition to the family. This is the Alex Nine Drawer set that I just got yesterday. You guys, I have literally wanted this whole setup my entire life. Like, you guys don't even know what a dream come true this is to me. So I'm going to start up here. I get all of my acrylic organizers like this at TJ Maxx. And up here I have my Nima Beauties um, lip, liquid lipsticks. My La Luna liquid lipsticks. I absolutely love this one. This is Coco Nude. I wear her all the time. My Ivon Beauty and my Zora, my black liquid lipstick from Zora Cosmetics. I wear that baby all the time. This little acrylic display is from the Dollar Tree, and I have all of my Dosa Colors liquid lipsticks up there. And here, I have another jewelry organizer. I have a bracelet that's very, very special to me. It's my grandmother's bracelet, and then I have a bunch of rings in there. 
this is a little wine glass and you guys this was like a whole set of wine glasses that my boyfriend got for me i know it's dusty ew but <laughs> this is a whole set of wine glasses that my boyfriend got for me and i broke every single one of them except for this one so now i just keep all of my sample perfumes in here and now we are gonna go into the drawers i'm not gonna go into too much detail because i don't want this video to be too long but up here this is my first lash drawer and all of these lashes are from the dollar tree these are the ioni lashes i absolutely love these they're so cute and they're great for if you're doing makeup on other people um and then up here i have all of my lash and co i love my lash and co lashes so much um i have my estate my lavish boutique i have more lavish boutique in the next drawer um i have zorora um these ones are from ivan and so many more i absolutely love lashes like i have literally became addicted to lashes the second drawer is more lashes back here is more lashes that like i don't use anymore or that are like ruined and i use for like halloween looks or like extravagant looks when i have to add things to them like feathers and stuff i still use these ones though i absolutely love these um and then i have my lashico i'm missing this one and i'm so freaking sad and then i have more lavish boutique and more, so many more lashes um i absolutely love lashes guys it's crazy because i used to never wear lashes and i hated the way that they looked on me but now i feel naked without my lashes y'all the third drawer is my primer drawer and obviously i have a freaking problem because like this is ridiculous and this is probably like one of my most full drawers um so i had them kind of categorized this is like um drugstore luminous primers drugstore matte and pore filling um high-end um luminous and then high-end matte and pore filling and then back here i just have like more these are my elf primers um and then these are just more like bottles that are like this back here i absolutely love this primer i need to get some more of it and then in here we have my concealers i freaking love concealers but i honestly am gonna do another video of going through my makeup and getting rid of some makeup because i need to get rid of a lot of these you guys it's bad and then down here, I have all of my setting powders. I honestly, I have been keeping these, and I absolutely love this setting powder. But I'm thinking about putting the ones that I haven't used in my giveaway pile. I kept them just in case I did makeup on other people. But honestly, I'm thinking about putting them in my giveaway pile so they don't go to waste. And then my handy dandy air spun. I always have to have this, you guys. I always have to have this. And then in here, I keep some, like, extra sponges just in case I need them for when I'm doing, like, colorful looks and stuff like that. And this drawer is my foundation drawer, my freaking holy grail drawer. Like, I'm obsessed with foundation, you guys. It's really, really a bad habit. I just did um, my top five favorite drugstore foundations last weekend, if you guys want to check that out. But I absolutely love foundation. So I have some Elf. I have some Milk. I love this foundation from Palace Identity. Not only is the packaging is amazing, but the freaking foundation is amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. My Wet n Wild, I absolutely love this foundation. And Milani, I got Tarte. I honestly love Tarte's foundations, but they're always so drying on me, you guys. This Aurora foundation is freaking amazing. I really wanna get some more of it. And then my LA Girl Pro Mixing. I've literally gone through two of these already. I freaking love this. And then back here, I have Too Faced Born This Way. I love this foundation so, so, so much. But honestly, none of these are my shade. I keep them to use them on other people. This is my setting spray drawer. And you guys, this is probably one of my favorite drawers because I could literally bathe in setting spray because, oh my gosh, I really don't use them a lot for the creative looks that I do because... I just use them for personal use, honestly. When I do my makeup on my own time and stuff like that, I just use them for myself. I love setting spray so much. Of course, I have the Morphe This Collection. I don't know if this is their, like, Christmas collection or what, but I have this one. This one's pretty much empty, but I, the big one is still full. Um, I got some Pixie and Pop. I have, like, four Milani <laughs> setting sprays. I love Milani so freaking much. This is actually a toner. I don't know why this is in here. I need to go put this in my um, skincare drawer. But I have Believe Beauty, um, some Phy Physicians Formula, Elf, ColourPop. This is the Bretman Rock um, Wet n Wild collection. I freaking love Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild so much. 
I just realized the whole time that this thing was sticking out and you guys are probably like, what the hell? But I, you're supposed to like screw this into the side. But when you do that, the Ikea drawers don't pull out like all the way to where you can see all the way back there. And honestly, I can't stand that. So I don't screw in the little metal bars. This drawer has um, my makeup, some of my makeup bags back here and then has new makeup in it. So this drawer is basically gonna be like makeup that I just bought that I need to try and that I wanna try for a video. So I'm gonna do a video with like all this new makeup that I just bought. And then I plan on doing a TikTok video today on this um, foundation. So that should already be up this afternoon, hopefully. <laughs> and then, um, just stuff that people send to me in PR and stuff like that. I'm going to put in this drawer. The second to the last drawer is my hair care stuff and like headbands and stuff. And honestly, I don't have a lot of hair care stuff. You guys, I don't really do a lot to my hair besides wash it and put some heat protectant in it. And that stuff stays in the bathroom. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, this is my hair care drawer. I got some, scrunchies and I got some um, hair ties and then just other hair care products. Last but not least on this set of drawers, I have my empty makeup and makeup that I'm like getting rid of that I need to do a video on, honestly, because this is piling up and I still need to go through my makeup now. And then back here in the back of the drawer, I have all of my giveaway pile stuff. So yeah, I'm so excited. I really need to do another giveaway and I wanna do a giveaway on YouTube and on Instagram soon, but I'm not sure how to go about that yet. I've only done a, it's, I've only done a TikTok giveaway so far, so. I don't know. I need to look up the rules and how to do a giveaway on Instagram and on YouTube. Right here is where the magic takes place. Um, so up here, this is where what I use for my backlighting. At first, I was using them in front of me, and it was just like really, really harsh lighting, and I did not like it. So I decided to start using this as backlighting because I'm trying to learn about lighting more and just what what looks better for me and what looks better in videos. So yeah, I've been I got these off of Amazon. I think they were like 30 bucks for two of them and yeah, I really really like these. And again, I got this thing from TJ Maxx. I also got this from TJ Maxx. It came with a whole bunch of beauty blenders in it. My boyfriend actually bought it for me. Um, and then I keep a bottle of water right here for my water activated paints. I always have to have water on hand. And I just got a big bottle of Meissler water um, because I love this stuff and I go through it like crazy. <laughs> In this top drawer, I have all of my colored contacts and stuff like that. I have to keep them on hand, you guys. I love these. They really just put the icing on the cake for a look, I feel like. Down here, I have some more lipsticks. So I have my Too Faced like, peach lipsticks and the plumps. And then I have my Hip Dot SpongeBob collection and some Wet n Wild. And then right here, I have all of my Tarte liquid lipsticks, some Lavish Beauty Los Angeles um, lip glosses, a MAC lip gloss, and another Sugar Rush lipstick. Right here, I have this mirror. It was it, it was originally hanging up in that little um, cove that was over there that the little collage is on that you guys saw. But I took it down and now I use it as my mirror for over here. It just leans up against the wall. Here's this little canvas that I painted in high school. It was like 3 a.m. and I was bored and I literally just started smushing paint all over it. And it turned out really cute. So I've kept it ever since and now it just hangs here. I really, really love it. Down here, I have my brushes. These clear containers are from the Dollar Tree. That is an old Yankee Candles candle that I just put like a little cute pink slip in. <laughs> and then those ones I actually got for Christmas from my grandmother. and that's that cute pink one down there with like the flowers the clear one with the flowers on it is from my boyfriend's grandma so I just kind of collect them and put brushes in them but I have my brushes from Lash & Co I have a bunch of miscellaneous ones in there um Jessup Beauty I keep like them organized from like big face brushes to the some of them are by brand it's weird you know I don't know I have this I have a system to my madness so yeah I know what I like and I know what I'm going for but yeah I do want to get some more cups or maybe just bigger cups because these ones are very like um, these ones get short, like skinnier at the bottom and it doesn't hold a lot of brushes, honestly. So, but yeah, I really, really love brushes if you can't tell and they need to be clean. So don't judge me. <laughs> 
right here i have another one of these containers but this one has like a bigger bottom so down here it has um some cleaners down here the little remote for my led lights um and then this phone i use to go live on on tiktok sometimes that's why sometimes it's crappy quality because it's a crappy phone but yeah and then right here i have some more kylie cosmetics liquid lipsticks um and here I have some more Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I forgot that I moved them around. So, <laughs> um, and then up here I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills. And honestly, these are probably all like too old to use, but I keep them because I worked hard for these, you guys. And then up here I have some more liquid lipsticks from Real Hers, Aurora, and stuff like that. And here I keep this little jewelry holder just for like jewelry that I need to be fixed and jewelry that I wear most often. Right here I have another one of the lights. They come in a two pack like I said. And then right here I keep this little basket from the Dollar Tree right here. And I keep all my beauty blenders and my little like makeup erasers in here that need to be washed. And obviously I need to wash them. Up here I keep all of my wigs and I got all of these off of Amazon um, and they were all under $20. I will try to link them down below if I can find them you guys because these wigs they're cheap and you have to work with them but honestly you can make them look really nice. We are going into these drawers. In this first drawer here, I have all of my highlighters. I have way more highlighters than I have um, blush or bronzer. It's kind of crazy, honestly, but I absolutely love highlighters. So here I have some Artist Couture highlighters and they're honestly probably expired, but I love them so freaking much. There's no way I would get rid of them. <laughs> and then I have some Estate highlighters. I absolutely love these so much. They're so pretty. Some Becca. These are probably expired as well, but these were expensive. These were expensive when I was working at Tropical Smoothie, okay? So I have to keep them. Lancome. Um, what do I have here? Some Wet n Wild. I absolutely love Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh. Believe Beauty. Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys, I love that this is set up to where this is like a completely separate drawer from my blushes and bronzers now because now I feel like I'll actually go in here and look for different highlighters to wear and I'll actually wear different highlighters in my collection. I'm so excited. The second drawer, we have my blushes and look at that. Look at all that room. I told you guys, I have way more highlighters than I have blushes and bronzers. It's crazy. You will see the amount of bronzers that I have compared to blushes and highlighters and you'll be like, what the heck is wrong with you? This is my blushes. So in here I have some like cream blushes. So this one's from Milk and this one's from, Mayb from Maybelline and honestly it really really sucks. I don't know why I still have it. Um, I have one from Believe Beauty. I forgot that I had this you guys. I literally got this from um, Palace Identity. They sent me a PR package but it's from their sister brand ZC. And look how pretty this blush is you guys. Like I need to use it. I forgot that I had it and now that I know that I have it I can freaking use it. Um, I have some ColourPop. I absolutely love this collection, but mine are like, mine are like shattered and I had to fix them. So I have to be very careful with those. <laughs> I have another Anastasia Blush Trio. Um, I absolutely love this Hello Halo Blush Lighter from, from Wet n Wild. It's freaking amazing. Um, Pretty Vulgar. I absolutely love this blush. Milani blushes are the bomb. You need them. And so are Essence blushes. These ones are a total dupe for the Tarte blushes. The Amazon... Uh, cannot speak. Amazonian Clay blushes. Totally a dupe for them. And they're only $3.99 at Ulta. And they are so freaking amazing. This drawer is my bronzers. Look at that. Compared to my freaking blushes and my highlighters. Look at that. And this is my face palette. So so these are all my bronzers it's really sad compared to my highlighters and my blushes I know but um yeah <laughs> I don't really go into these bronzers much because lately I've just been using this one this is my Marc Jacobs um tantalized bronzer and I've been using this like every time I do my actual like regular makeup so I don't really jump into many of these anymore but I absolutely love base palettes and palettes in general so you guys Guys will definitely see that but yeah I'm not gonna go into this because this video is already getting really really long but some of my absolute favorites in here
second to the last drawer has my colorful eyeshadow palette so I really needed to split up my eyeshadow palettes because one I was growing out of the drawer and two I it was like getting hard to find like my neutral color eyeshadow palettes and my like colorful ones so I decided to put all of my colorful eyeshadow palettes in here so I have some Lash & Co I have White Chan Cosmetics um, I have Hip Dot, Zorora, Dahlia I have, um, this one's from La Luna, it's the Mad Palette, and two of my favorite palettes, oh my gosh, from Nima Beauty, look how gorgeous, oh my gosh, I love those palettes. The last drawer here on the bottom has all my neutral toned eyeshadow palettes, like more of my like, just everyday wear eyeshadow palettes, so in here I have some of my like, stuff that I've had for years, like these ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Subculture, you guys remember the freaking backlash on this baby? I actually liked it. Like, I actually really liked it. But a lot of people hated this thing. <laughs> um, I have the Norvina palette. This one's not, not too, too old, I guess. But, yeah. I loved Anastasia uh, eyeshadow formulas. They are really, really nice. And then I have my Urban Decays that I've had for years and years and years, like, oh my gosh, years, years. I've had these since the beginning of time. These were like some of my first eyeshadow palettes ever. And then I have some more back here. Um, this one that I just got from ZC, from I Palace Identity and ZC Cosmetics is so beautiful. And look at this one, you guys. This one is from Tarte. I've literally used this palette twice. I'm not going to lie. I bought it for the packaging. Like, I have to show you the inside. I also bought it because it had a blush in it. And I absolutely love Tarte blushes. But... The color story is kind of off for me. The packaging was totally on for me and I completely had to have it. Look how cute! Moving on to the second set of drawers. This first drawer here has my glitters and my pigments in it. Like these glitters and, and this pigment from Lash & Co are so freaking stunning. I just got these ones from a brand called Pink Beauty um, Organic Skin Care. And you guys, these are freaking amazing. Like, you guys have to go check out her shop. I'm in love with this yellow one, and I almost used all of it. I definitely need more. Like, I really don't know where the heck this came from. Like, where the heck did this come from? And then back here, I have some more neon pigments. These ones are from La Luna. I absolutely love these. Um, and here I keep some li some liquid eyeshadows and just like cream eyeshadow sticks, stuff like that. And then right here, these are from Amazon. They all they all came in a pack together, and they're just a bunch of different kind of jewels and fate and things that are supposed to be used for nails, but I use them for my makeup looks sometimes. In the second drawer here, we have my eyeliners, some single eyeshadows. Look at all these gorgeous colors from freaking estate oh my gosh i love these and then in here i have some brow products i know this drawer is like probably the messiest but honestly this is the drawer that's overflowing and i don't really have any more room for anything else in this drawer but you guys i love this drawer i use it this drawer will be used the most because it has all of my h2o paint pods in here it has my lash and co volume one paint palette in here like i'm good to go this is my drawer <laughs> it has my colorful liquid eyeliners um regular black liquid eyeliners this is pencil eyeliners and these are eyeshadow primers and then back here i have two things of mascaras i really need to stop getting mascara because oh my gosh you guys i need to stop opening new mascaras and then in this drawer i have some more extra lipstick so right here i have all my carity lip glosses and liquid lipsticks right here i have some lip plumpers um glosses some more kylie gloss or uh, liquid lipsticks and then some new glosses that i just got and some more liquid lipsticks but look how much more room i have in here to grow that is amazing this drawer is my sfx drawer and where i'm keeping my like cream paints and stuff and some like headbands and props and extra stick on things stuff like that you know this drawer is like really exciting to me because this drawer i'll be dipping into a lot to get my glue stick every day i'll really feel inspired honestly to open up this drawer every day and see all this like extra stuff this is from when i did the grinch oh my god honestly that look is so ugly why did i do that to myself 
But yeah, I absolutely love this drawer so freaking much. I know it's a hot freaking mess, but I love this drawer. It's a hot freaking mess. It's my hot freaking mess. Last but absolutely not least, we have uh, some more palettes. I decided that I didn't want these palettes on display anymore, that I wanted them in a drawer. These are just bigger palettes that, like, didn't really fit in my drawers before, so I decided to put them in here. Um, so I have some gl Glam Light palettes in here. I have the Burger palette. This palette is absolutely stunning. I honestly don't use these palettes enough, and I'm really glad that they're right next to me now when I'm going to be doing my makeup so I can remember to use them more often. You guys, this video was super long, and I am so sorry for that, but I am so excited to finally be able to show you guys my dream makeup room. The last thing is this little, like, sheet. I literally just have it tacked to the ceiling, like, honestly. I ain't worried about it. We rent this place, and it's really old, and the owner isn't worried about it so yeah we just tacked that to the ceiling and it stays pretty well honestly and my cat hangs on it so yeah I don't think it's going anywhere <laughs> huge thank you to you guys because none of this would be possible without you guys continuous support and I do not know what I would do without you guys so thank you so much I'm not gonna make this video too much longer because it's hella hella long but I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one